For two months and eight days the faithful have mourned, the leaders and saviors of the holiest deen. The eyes have cried, the spirits recharged, as insha'Allah knowledge and awareness they have seen. And now the ninth day is upon all creation. It is a day of love, a day to rejoice. This day is a test for all of our souls to determine our allegiance to the Holy Fourteen. On this day the houses of the unjust have fallen, not merely once, but three times in creation. The first time is when the oppressor of Zahra did meet his final resting place and low station. The second is years later, when the noble Muhtar brought that smile upon the face of the one who had cried since Karbala, he who is known among the servants of Allah as their peak and adoration. And the third said event, 200 years later, saw the rise of the imamat of that final one, the awaited, the guide, al-muntadhar al-mahdi, he who exists as the hidden, lighted sun. Salamun ala ala yaseen, we express our greetings to him, the final proof of Allah. On this day, his leadership, that will last till the end of the earth itself, had distinctly begun. This day has many names, and its history runs deep. But one fact, one name, is perfectly clear. It is Eid al-Zahra, the day of her happiness. And this day is also the second Ghadir. For though Islam was completed with the wilayat of Ali, its perfection cannot be seen in this world until justice and equality are established throughout by he who is the final son of Amir. Eid al-Shuja'a, Eid Allah al-Akbar, and the day when prayers are answered, no doubt. For this day has a rank, a most blessed position, that Rasulullah had declared and had pointed out. The Prophet does not speak without a command from Allah. So know that this day is important for all who cling, who adhere to his guidance, those faithful who understand wilayat and what its truth is about. What is wilayat? Innama waliyakum Allahu wa rasuluhu walladhina amanu alladhina yuqimuna salat Your wali is Allah, his prophet and those who believe and establish prayer wa yu'tuna zakat wa hum and give the poor rate while bowing. These are the words of Allah in his book. The wali is declared no mistake can be made, as this truth by the holiest has been repeated and taught. The wali is he who has more authority, who has the greatest right over the soul of insan. As without Allah and his chosen ones, man is but nothing, because he must depend on the creator and those whom he deems so worthy, as Allah had created the universe in their love. Ghadir was the conclusion to this chain of authority, but the path is unfinished until the final wali's dawn. And when that dawn arrives, when the faraj is here, remember who is blessed with authority and control. He, the remainder of Allah on earth, is the one you yearn for, the master of your soul. Thus we do see that Allah had granted these noble ones a station, a power so high that obedience to them and recognition of their status brings one toward Allah, the ultimate goal. Thirteen awliya, those leaders of truth, the messenger, and the protectors of all that is right. And yet one is missing, the queen of all women. On this day, her happiness should be in our sight. As she is the one whose love is demanded, the prophet asks for no ajr except muaddat, this love, for the one whom he says is the soul between his sides. She is a zahra, the most radiant light. Her rank, her roles, her status and depth cannot be conceived by our simple human mind. She is neither a prophet nor an imam, so how can her essence truly be defined? This is beyond our position to state, as Allah has kept her as a secret and treasure. But one fact we do know is that the noble Zahra was charged with the task of the ultimate kind. This day is of happiness, yet just a week earlier we cried for the tragedies, those that came first. When that door was burnt, Zahra was attacked, and our Amir was taken by those who were worst. The holiest queen, though distraught and in pain, did attend to one task, it was her destiny, to demand the release of her husband and Mawla. 
She was his defender against the accursed. Have we understood the significance of the moment when Zahra called for the release of Ali, the support of Wilayat, its spirit so true? This was her role and part of her history. Think back now to the house of revelation. The prophet named Ali as his nafs, his other self, and his ruh, his spirit, his soul whom he named was none other than the purest from his family. Fatima, the most pure, the abundance she is, yet she is much more if only we knew. al Kothar was also the savior of Deen before the trials that her children went through. For our two greatest leaders, the most profound teachers, she was the love and light in their lives, and thus Sahara is that blessed spirit, the support of the divine system, which is perfect and true. So on this day, with its blessings, as we greet our Imam, he for whom the hearts patiently wait, never forget that his holiest mother is the soul of our deen, as her love is the gate, toward bounties in this world and in the next. Allah has placed her above all women in time. Ya Fatima, you are the spirit, the ruh of vilayat. You are the daughter, the wife, and mother of the great. Tune in to Ruha Vilayat coming soon, only on Vilayat TV. Eid al Zahra Mubarak to all Mu'mineen and Mu'minat. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.